Hello guys, you're welcome once again to AOK. Today we want to look at how to calculate our income tax. That's pay as you earn automatically using an inbuilt Excel function called if. Okay, so our current tax rate for the month has been given right here. Let's just take time, go through and understand how this tax rate works then we'll come back to this side and try to put a formula here to calculate our um, income tax or pay for Peter Ofori. Once we get that we replicate it down to get the other employees. Okay. So this is the list of employees we have the chargeable income or what we call taxable income that has to be subjected to tax and then this will be the tax that they will have to pay to the tax authority okay so coming back to the individual tax rate if you look at the current individual tax rate for the month okay the first 319 of your basic salary or your total uh, earnings from the company is supposed to be taxed at a rate of zero then the next hundred cities of it will be taxed at 5 cities follow um, 120 at the tax of 10% 3000 at the tax of 17.5 16461 at the tax of 25% now when you accumulate this okay it gives you a total of 20000 so this is the accumulated um, chargeable income we have this which is the first one here we add a hundred to this it gives us this accumulated value at the level here we add a 120 it gives us this accumulated value we add a 3000 giving us this we add a 16,000 um, forces one and it gives us this 20,000 now at this level you'll be paying a tax of 25 cities and in excess of this uh, total, which is the twenty thousand, any amount that will be in excess of this twenty thousand will be taxed at thirty percent. Okay. So how does it work? Very simple. We will take an example. Look at how it works manually, and then we will try to put an Excel function to calculate it automatically for us okay so the first salary of this is um, 556 5536 yeah so let's type it the CI is the charter uh, char chargeable income so 5536 okay so now let's see how it works if we are to do this manually now this is the chargeable income that has to go through this individual tax rate. So ask yourself, can we get um, the first 319 of this chargeable income? If the answer is yes, then we'll be paying a tax of this times 0%. And that's how come we had a tax of 0. The next thing we do is after we've taken 319 of this total the balance that is left so pick this less the previous one that you charge so this is the amount left after you charge the 319 the next question is can you get the next threshold which is 100 cities from this balance if the answer is yes then we take our 100 cities and we we'll tax it at a rate of um, 5 percent at this level Okay, so we get a tax of 5 CD. That's how come the tax here is 5 CD. Okay, now we move on to the next level. The balance left at this level was this. So this balance minus what we have just deducted. So 100 CDs. We are now on this level, the 120 level. Can we get 120 out of this balance? Yes. So if the answer is yes, we take our 120. We multiply by 10%. That's how come they had 12 CDs as the tax. 
so it moves on and on let's move on we take this we less what we just calculated tax on which is the um, 120 this is the balance at this level okay here can we get 3000 out of the balance left yes so put your 3000 here and because the answer is yes we pick our 3000 and multiply by the tax rate at that level 17.5 okay so that's how come we had this tax okay now the next thing we do is we pick this balance and less the value we've deducted tax so pick this balance minus this now look at the balance left at this level it is 1997 which is less than 16,000 now whenever you get to a level where the balance here is less than the threshold you pick all the balance and then you multiply it by the tax rate at that level so times 25 percent very simple however if the balance we had here was more than the 16,000 461 we would have restricted this balance to 16,461 and then tax that value at a rate of 25 percent then we'll get another balance that will subject to a 30 percent tax rate kindly notice whenever the balance left at any of the levels is less than the threshold then you pick that balance left you multiply by the tax rate at that level now assuming we had one Ghana CD here, that is the balance left at this level. We would have still taken that one CD, multiplied it by 25% tax rate. Okay. Now doing it manually, which will take a lot of time, because if you come to your payroll here, where we are trying to determine the PE, we have about 20 employees. You cannot be wasting time trying to do this calculation for each of them. Okay. So we need to come up with a formula that will help us. Once we get that of um, Peter, we will just replicate it down and it will calculate all the tax for the other employees. Okay, so we did this manually so that we will be able to compare this and the automatic um, tax calculation and see whether we did the right thing. So manually, this is how it works. Okay, so let's try an automatic calculation and see we're going to use the if function all we do is equals if where the chargeable income is please which is r5 okay sorry because if click on the tab key to select the function if this cell reference representing 55 traces okay which is the chargeable income is less or equals to the first threshold here is 319 so let's take out 319 what should be the tax implication the tax implication will be that value times zero which is zero so i just put zero here okay comma what about if it is more than 319 so we move on with our formula if, uh, sorry, let me pick it. If you type your E function, click on your top key to select the function. Okay. We are still looking at where the chargeable income is. That is R5. It's less or equals to, so we are now on the second threshold, 419, comma. What do you want Excel to do? So we want Excel to take the difference between this 319 and 419, which is representing the threshold at this level. So you take your chargeable income here, here, R5 minus the first threshold that we considered before the current one. So the first one was 319. Okay. Now what will happen is whatever balance we may have, if it is higher than 319 then the difference will be at this level if the difference is at this level what is the tax rate at this level that is five percent so times five percent 
we bring our comma and then we move on to if again we click on our tab key we are still looking at the same location or cell so r5 less or equals to we are now on the threshold here three uh, five three one five three five three nine sorry what should excel do excel should take the previous tax that we have charged you see the previous tax we've charged when you are here is five cd so take that previous tax plus the next tax you are going to charge which is going to be this value okay r5 minus what we have already charged which is 419 419 okay times what at this level what is the tax rate at this level at this level we are here 10 percent so times 10 percent close your bracket and bring your comma we go to if okay we are still looking at r5 if it is less or equals to we move on to next threshold we will do this till we exhaust all these thresholds okay so we are now here on this level three five three nine if that is the case ask yourself what tax have you charged before getting to this level that's 17 so 17 plus we pick our r5 again minus what has already been charged 539 539 at this level our tax rate is 17.5 so times 17.5 to close our bracket we bring our comma we are on the last but one threshold that is 20,000 so if again tap R5 where the tax will be less or equals to we are now on this threshold 20,000 okay so 20,000 comma what do you want Excel to do the previous tax that we've charged okay so we picked out 42 plus r5 okay minus the previous threshold 3539 okay times the tax rate at that level which is 25 percent now we've exhausted all the levels however in a situation where someone's monthly salary is more than 20 20,000 we are supposed to charge a tax of um, 30 percent if we don't include the SS that's the 30 percent whenever someone is earning more than 20,000 basic salary the tax that Excel will give us will not be correct so we need to include this now since this is the last part okay we will just bring an um, we will just bring a bracket and we will say that um, the tax that has been charged at this level is 4657.25 plus R5 minus R5 minus what is the threshold before we go to this exceeding 20,000 that's 20,000 and when this happens how much tax are we looking at 30% so times 30% we close our bracket okay so we enter and it, because we needed to close it with a number of brackets Excel will want you to be sure so you say yes and then it calculates our tax for us okay so very simple this is how to calculate our tax automatically now we can prove it and see if we are right this is equal to this so that's true we did this part manually where we subjected the chargeable income here through the individual tax rate at each level then here we put it we put an excel formula using the if function and it calculates this so all we need is copy this if function and come to our payroll here and place it here 
I need to calculate the tax for us straight away or we can do it all over again so this is the function that is supposed to be in this cell okay once we put it here it will calculate this so I can just come here copy this and then place it here and it will give me or I can just come to the one we just did control C and then I'll come here control V and it copies the formula and look at how intelligent Excel is if you double click you can see that now it has picked the cell that came before the cell if you look at this side if you look at this side it was looking at um, R5 but if you look at this side when we copy it it is looking at D5 okay so once you have this you can just double click on it and it calculates all the tax for us so guys this is how to use the if e function to determine our income tax automatically all right watch out for more videos thank you